Welcome to Up North Adventures. On this adventure, we're in the North Woods of Wisconsin to camp in a rustic yurt. Accessible only by trail, the yurt is nestled in the middle of Bayfield County Forest, with direct access to many miles of mountain bike and cross-country ski trails. Our plan was to spend two nights at this relaxing getaway, cook up some good food over the campfire, and just explore the surrounding areas. The trail to the yurt was a little over a mile, but since we had stayed at the other yurt the previous year, we knew what to expect. There are two yurts situated on opposite sides of Mount Ashwa Bay, the Evergreen and the Terracotta. The previous year we stayed at the Evergreen yurt, which is every bit as nice, with a beautiful view of Onion River Valley and the Shawamigan Bay. We had a really nice stay with great company. On this trip, we would have to hike a little further to the Terracotta Yurt, but it was the perfect getaway for just the two of us. After a steep and somewhat strenuous hike, we arrived at the yurt and quickly settled in. The yurt was furnished with two bunk beds, a large table, chairs, and a wood-burning stove. There was, however, no electricity or running water. We were amazed at the spectacular views of Lake Superior, Pikes Bay, and the Apostle Islands. In the distance we could see the ferry hauling tourists from the quaint little town of Bayfield to beautiful Madeline Island, which is the largest of the Apostle Islands. A trip we've made many times in the past, but we're perfectly content watching from afar. We spent some time relaxing on the deck and just taking it all in, before heading down to the fire pit. Alaskan king crab, some white russell potatoes, right? Uh -huh. <clears throat> New York strip. We enjoyed our meal, fired up the wood stove, and settled in for the night.
The sunrise over Lake Superior was amazing. We woke up slow and planned our day's adventure over a hot cup of coffee. Bayfield County, Wisconsin has a lot to offer. The town of Bayfield is just down the hill from the yurt. Bayfield is known for its apple orchards, wineries, and unique shops. Having worked on the Great Lakes steamships in the past, I was most interested in Bayfield's nautical history. So we headed down to the marina and checked out the Maritime Museum. Later we would head towards the town of Washburn to explore Houghton Falls. The Houghton Falls Trail is an easy out and back hike that includes river carved caves, caverns and waterfalls, all leading to the greatest of the Great Lakes. So here is our yurt here. Can you, I don't know if the camera's picking yep. it up. <clears throat> There's a faint gray line. That's a ski trail. We're not, these colored lines are the uh, mountain bike trails. We're gonna follow this ski trail. Right now we're at the power line. So right here, we're about halfway there. And we're gonna come up to the overlook or the uh, ski lift. And, Here's a power line up here. Me and Kevin just walked up one of the ski trails and it took us probably about 25 minutes from the yurt. Here you can see we are at Pike Creek in Mount Ashwa Bay. Yep, there's the big top Chautauqua. They got concerts there all summer long, so I think this might be the last weekend. Is it? So, we're gonna take advantage of that. Bring a couple drinks. Just sit on the chairlift and watch. Listen to things. The rest of our day was spent unwinding at the yurt. I managed to rig up my hammock with enough support to hang right in the doorway. Perfect. The bunk beds were plenty comfortable, but how could I pass up a night in the hammock? I woke well rested and ready to hit the trail back to the car. Thanks for joining us and we look forward to sharing our next adventure.